Hello everyone and welcome back to another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last we left off, we had just exited out of the supply store. I am talking smart today. Safe game. Because this is Dwin's house. The door is locked and looks as if it has been recently repaired. Hello? No one. Did you just make poofy in your pants? <clears throat> Knock on the door. Lock picking. Pick the lock on the door. Continue. <laughs> right. Right. Wonderful. Intruders. I hope you have a good reason for breaking and entering into my home. Oh, glitch. Um, I apologize. I don't mean any harm. Apology accepted. The name's Dwight. Pleased to meet you. Now get out. <laughs> He's a bit gruff, but I do like Dwin. Um, Murdoch says he needs you for the militia. So what? You recruiting for him? I'll tell you what I told Murdoch. I'm not risking my neck for this town. Can't I change your mind? Maybe. Let's hear what you've got. Now, I have actually played through this game, at least most of the way, on my dwarf character. And when I tried this option, it actually got a lot further than I had on any human. The, uh, what about a little more personal reward? But he still declined. I'm not sure if it ever really does work, or if it does, it requires, like, maximum approval. Anyway. I'll put in good word for you with Van Tegan or the Arl. Hmm. You might just be able to pull that off. Fine. I'll throw in with the militia. For now. You better be out there too when the sun goes down. I'm not fighting for a lost cause, you hear me? I hear you. And I, you know, I actually agree. So yay! Bit of a glitch. We're going to ignore what the text sh 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 said. Stop fidgeting. I don't like being out here, Dwin. Neither lie. And well, he should, because you're a good-for-nothing liar and a thief. Well, we don't understand why we're out here. We're out here because I say we're going to help these people, and since I pay your wages, you're going to do as I say. Oh, sure, boss. Whatever you say. All right. Anyway. Caitlin, we found your brother. Yes, Miss Glowy Head. Madden said you were the one who found him. I can't possibly repay you. About the sword I found in your home. Evan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it, then? I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. Oh, thanks. Perhaps I could pay you something for it? I uh, have no idea what it's worth, to be honest. And you found Bevan. I couldn't ask you for money. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Each of these, you can give her... I mean, normally you're not supposed to have a lot of money at this point in the game, but... <laughs> anyway. Um, it's a very valuable sword. Here. 500 silver. Take it. That's, that's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? Just stay safe. Both of you. The Maker sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Now, there isn't really... Liliana approves plus five. Yeah. There isn't any way for you to actually know this, but... Um, Depending on how much you give Caitlyn, she's able to go to Denerim if it's 100 silver, and then she's able to go to Denerim and actually start up some business and get herself, you know, in with the nobles. Um, which ties in well with Van Tegan not being married. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Let's see, does it trigger another one if I cross here again? Alistair, what's this? It's a sock. <laughs> it's a filthy sock. 
How did it find its way to my bedroll? Maybe it likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. <laughs> anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched on it. Oh, ha <laughs> uh, Part of Temple of Training, back at the Chantry, the men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is feeling a little damp anyway. A change will be nice. You're going to put it on? It's filthy. And dry. We're not exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. <laughs> what hideous habits you've picked up. No kidding. Wow. That was actually something kind of, Yeah. But again, once again, Wynn is playing mom. Anyway. This is the blacksmithy. Go away. Curse you! Leave me in peace! You've already taken everything out of my scores. There's nothing left. Is this Owen, the blacksmith? I need to speak with you. Huh? Who is that? What do you want? I've been through enough. I'd prefer not to speak through a door. Can I come in? Mm. All right, all right. Let me undo the locks. All I ask is that you don't make any trouble. <laughs> Shrug. <laughs> anyway. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. <laughs> so I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? My name is Lorelai. Grey Warden helping Van Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? Or is there something in particular you wanted? Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena. It's one of the Alessa's maids, and she's trapped up there in the castle, but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village, or anyone! Hmm. I will rescue your daughter. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you could go in and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I'll do my best. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. I want to promise. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. And there's actually an interesting version of this dialogue if you happen to have both Morgan and Sten in your party. Um, I'm actually going to link to <laughs> the video uh, that I saw. I cannot even think about it without cracking up. Um, but they have an interesting contribution to this discussion. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I promise you, I'll find her. We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. If you need anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. And, of course, my party approves. I mean, seriously, you can check out their approval at this point. Alistair... You took on some herbalism? Nice. Anyway, he's at 61. When... 34, she's warm. And Liliana is at 44. Warm. Which, if I had not responded to her conversation with, I'm happy to have you as a friend, um, she, that would actually have switched to either interested or uh, probably care later on. Um, but yeah. So, we're gonna help him find his daughter. In the meantime, he will help us for the militia. Yay! We do good things. Or as Alistair put it, we do good work. I can't properly do a male voice. Despite my attempts with Trilby. Oh, right, I'm out of time. 
So I'll see you in the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Hope to see you then.